Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Ellie and I've just finished my degree at the University of Leeds and I'll be going on to study a Masters in Applied Mathematics at the University of Cambridge in September. So I thought that now I've finished my degree, I am somewhat, I suppose, qualified to share some things that I wish I knew before studying a degree. Just tips and advice that if you are going to study a degree, might help you. Um, there are kind of a whole variety of different things I'm going to include in this video so hopefully one of them, at least one of them, will be something that you take away before you go and study a degree. So I'm going to dive straight into the video and tell you the 10 things that I wish I knew before starting my degree. So the first one, and this is something that's very important, I feel like a lot of people will probably tell you this before you go study a degree, if you don't make your best friends in the first couple of weeks it honestly doesn't matter. I was fortunate that I'd made contact with David, who, who you may have seen in my other videos, um, before going to university. So I met him in Freshers and I've made, you know, been friends with him throughout the, my three years. However, if I hadn't made the friends, you know, that, that I did in the first couple of weeks that I'm still friends with now, I think there's about three of them. I made my very, very best friend in mathematics um, in the second year. In first year I made a whole variety of different friends and you know every experience I had was great, I loved it. You know you kind of realise after a few months around certain people and you know friendship groups sometimes you just drift apart and that's absolutely fine at university. You don't need to find your best friends in the first couple of weeks. If you don't find your best friends in the first couple of weeks it's okay. I found you know my best friend in maths in second year and a good group of friends in second year. I did have you know my other friends who I know watch my videos so I want to make sure that you know I, I do reiterate that I made some some good friends in, in the first couple of weeks but it's okay if you don't. Honestly it's fine. I know my best friend that I made friends with in second year hated the degree to begin with just was like I don't have any friends really struggled to meet friends um, and then she kind of said that she's glad she stayed because she she met me and a few other people in second year so first point it doesn't matter if you don't meet the type of friends that are on your same wavelength you know meet people like yourself in the first couple of weeks freshers is a pretty intense time for everybody it takes a few months even a year to just settle in and, and find people that are your people and a lot of people I've spoken to have said that they met their very best friends in second year so don't worry if you don't meet your kind of people in the first couple of weeks or months you'll eventually find them so don't worry about that. The second thing and this kind of ties in with the, with the first point that I made is something I wish I kind of knew before I went to university was that it's actually very easy to make friends it's very easy to meet a lot of different people and that helps through societies. So when you go to university, I would say if you have an interest in any type of society, whether that's, you know, football or you know, any kind of sport or you like to read, honestly, at any university, you will have a whole variety of different societies. My advice would be to just join every single one that interests you. You know, I joined societies and there was a bit like, mm, this wasn't for me. And then, you know, you get taster sessions. You don't have to pay a full society membership. You do get taster sessions and you get to meet people. Um, so yeah, I think I wish I, I wish people had told me to join more societies before I went, because that's something I definitely regret not doing a lot throughout my time at, at Leeds. So yeah, and point number two, it's actually very easy to make friends and it's a lot easier to make friends if you join a lot of societies. Point number three, I kind of went into university thinking that you had to work all the time. You know, there are different perspectives of a lot of different people. Some people will say just go get drunk all the time and some people will say just work hard all the time. And I was very much kind of thinking that I had to work all the time, that my whole life revolved around work. Doing a maths degree, it's very intense. It, I found it was a lot more intense compared to other subjects and I don't know if that's just because I made it intense for myself by doing pretty much everything I needed to do. Definitely a degree that entailed a lot more contact hours than other degrees. So I spent a lot of time just purely doing my work all the time and what I realised was there's so much time for extracurricular things like society events, like going out, seeing people, meeting new friends. In this last year with Covid obviously that changed things slightly but I managed to get up to a lot of different extracurricular things throughout you know, my time at Leeds in my final year and obviously final year is a pretty intense year but I was proud that I managed to do the extracurricular things I did. I'll put a bit of a kind of video here from my Instagram kind of showing you what I have been up to this last year. It's been very very hectic so that's another thing I would say is I wish people had told me before I went to uni that that is time away from your degree and away from what you do to to meet new people to join societies 
to you know do extracurricular things you know you don't have to be sat at your desk 24 7 you know pounding the textbooks just go and, and kind of get the university experience and yeah do things aside from your degree as well because if you sit and revise your entire degree it'll be a pretty intense time and you won't really look back on your degree thinking oh yeah i made these friends i did these things these extracurricular things so yeah definitely have a balance that's something i wish someone had told me is that you do have time to do things aside from from your degree point four and this might seem a very intuitive one if you put the work in you will do well honestly i can't really stress this enough if you're going to university if you put the hours in if you do the tutorial sheets if you write the essays you've been asked to write if you do the work you will do very very well i found that especially in maths you will get kind of mini pieces of coursework that will go to you know the overall grade of a module and then you'll have an exam and i found that if i worked hard in the little pieces of coursework it alleviated the pressure for the actual exam obviously that changed as i went through my years because it became 100 percent exam but for those modules that had coursework i worked hard for those so it took the pressure off in an exam and equally you know you have a lot of time to revise compared to a levels i found anyway you know you only have I swear at A levels I felt like I had no time at all to, to kind of revise for mocks or actual exams because you were constantly in school whereas the good thing about university is you have long breaks and if you put in the effort and you do the work and you do the pretty much everything that you're required to do on your degree and put the work in you will do really well. I think that's something just really worth saying before you go to do a degree. It ties in with the previous point you know do your work put the effort in but also have a good uni experience. So yeah, you know, if you put the work in, put the effort in, you'll do incredibly well. As, as I said, it seems a bit intuitive, but it's something that's worth including in this video. Point five, I think is, is very, very important. And it's that if you are struggling, there's help there if you need it. Every university has a disability resource centre kind of thing. Um, and they will deal with pretty much everything, you know, whether that's you experience slight anxiety or you are depressed. Um, if you've had you know bereavement if you've lost a loved one if you've broken your leg literally anything you can think of that may disrupt your studies to a certain extent there are people there to help you so i'll give a little bit of a quick story time so before i went to university i suffered a head injury i used to race motorbikes i've mentioned this in my q a video i used to race motorbikes i had a head injury and i missed two of my a-level exams and basically I spent the entire summer after that just recovering and as a result of my head injury I experienced seizures and I kind of went to university stressed about it I was worried about having seizures at university I went straight to the maths department they got it sorted they literally got pretty much everything that I could have ever asked for sorted for me you know they gave me extra support if I needed it they had people that I could talk to if I was worried they gave me I think um I could leave lectures early in case I felt like a seizure coming on. They said I could sit at like allocated seating at the side of, of the lectures. You know, things that I didn't necessarily need but were just there to help reassure me anyway. You know, my seizures were induced by stress so they reassured me and they got examinations, things sorted, just loads and loads of different things. And I went thinking, oh my gosh, you know, am I even going to get any help? And they were just lovely. I know so many people that have struggled at university and uh, with just a whole range of different things, you know, bereavement and um, mental health issues. And every single department at university will have someone you can talk to. So, yeah, a piece of advice I would give is if you are struggling, there are people there that will help. You know, I don't want to put a bit of a, you know, gloom, a dark on, on uni because, you know, it's not it's not stressful all the all the time. You know, you don't develop mental health issues as a result of uni. I just mean if something happens in your studies or happens in your life. What I'm saying is if something does happen in your studies, my dogs are barking. <laughs> Sorry about that. There are people there that you can talk to and that will help. I guess point number six, which leads on from what I said, you can actually get mitigating circumstances for certain um, coursework, exams, um, anything that you do at university that may be assessed, you can get mitigating circumstances for it. Or I think it's extenuating circumstances, it depends from uni to uni. I, a story time again, I had a seizure, I was in hospital as a result of it during my first year, and the School of Maths said, don't worry about the coursework you've got coming up, we'll, you know, make it exempt or give you a deadline. So if something has happened in your life, 
just apply for ECs or mitigating circumstances if you literally cannot do the work. You can also apply for it on exams as well. And no matter how minor it is, there will be someone there to listen and someone there to hopefully grant you those ECs. I think I wanted to include that because a lot of people I find at university suffer in silence. If anything is happening in their lives, you know, maybe you've just gone through a breakup, something like that can really set you off track. You may go to university and something, you know, happens in your life that you, you're struggling with. You know, back to the other point, ask for help and you can get mitigating circumstances for any coursework um, or for any, you know, exam that you have. The exams, they don't cancel your exams through it. It just means that, say you don't do as well, you can then have a first sit, which means you can resit it and it won't be capped at 40%. Because usually if you fail an exam, it'll be capped at 40% if you then resit it. So yeah, back to the point of uh, working hard. <laughs> you don't want to fail your exams because then you'd have to resit them, unfortunately. But yeah, applying for mitigating circumstances and ECs are, are important if you are struggling. Just don't struggle in silence. I guess that interlinks those two points that I've just said. Point seven, and this is really important, everybody's uni experience is not the same. Don't compare yourself to anybody else. There are people that are introverts that don't like going out. There are people that will go and drink. There are people that go do drugs. There's a whole range of different characters at university. Don't compare yourself to anybody else. Everybody's uni experience is completely different. Some people make their best friends in first in the first week. Some people make them in the second year. Just don't compare yourself to anybody else. You know, everybody's uni experience is different. So don't worry if yours is different to everybody else's. If it's perfect for you, then it's perfect. And if it's not perfect, then don't worry. You know, there are things that you can do, like join societies, speak to people that will help your overall university experience. So yeah, don't compare yourself to anybody else. And that also goes you know, alongside uni as well, don't compare your work against anybody else because you're there for you at the end of the day, you're not there to be comparing yourself and beating yourself up about what other people are achieving or what other people are doing, just be there for yourself and yeah, just remember that no, no one person's uni experience is the same, everybody's is different. Point eight, so this is helpful in terms of academia, honestly ask for help whenever you need it if you are interested in something and you want to learn more about it ask the lecturers if you are stuck there will be people that will help you literally lecturers will lecturers will sit down with you and go through it if you don't go through the material if you don't understand it honestly if you're struggling with any material ask for help whether that is from the lecturers from your tutors from your personal tutor to your friends there are also drop-in sessions for degrees there are pal sessions where you can speak to people in the year above ask for help whenever you need it don't sit in silence i wish someone had told me this before i went to uni because you kind of expect i kind of fell in the trap of well i need to understand this you know i'm a bit a bit ashamed i'm a bit embarrassed if i don't understand it like i should be understanding this don't don't do that <laughs> honestly don't do that it's okay not to understand things some people will get things like that and other people just don't and it's fine just ask for help because i can tell you that will massively help your uni experience it will make things a lot easier because instead of sitting for eight hours trying to understand this one theorem or you know chunk of text in a, in a textbook you could go to your lecturer and he can explain it in you know five minutes ten minutes just ask for help whenever you need it and your uni experience will be a lot easier <laughs> point number nine is enjoy the experience honestly you're there you're paying a lot of money to go to university enjoy every single thing that you possibly can there, join societies, you know, go try and make new friends, um, speak to lecturers, get enthused by certain areas, take modules you enjoy, just go and enjoy the experience. I think a lot of people forget that you're paying a lot of money to be getting this, this degree and although, you know, you can pound the textbooks for hours and you can get really, really high grades, that's fine but make sure you do give time for yourself to go and enjoy new things even if it's by yourself, you know, if, if you're somebody that likes to go sit in cafes, go and find, you know, different cafes every day and do work in. If you like libraries, go find, go try out different libraries. Just enjoy the experience. Like I said, you're paying a lot of money. It's okay, you know, to not be sat at your desk 24 seven. As I said in the previous points, you don't want to be doing that because you'll burn yourself out. Just experience every single thing that uni has to offer because there's a whole variety, you know, societies. I can't stress that enough because you will probably meet a whole range of different people through societies. And it's okay if you don't enjoy it because you, you know, you don't have to see those people again. <laughs> so yeah, enjoy the university experience. It's, it's definitely a good experience and just make the most of it, I would say. And then the final point, point number 10, which I hope all of you will take away if you, if you are studying a degree or you're going to study a degree, 
believe in yourself honestly if you are your you know number one fan and you believe in yourself then you will do amazing things even if you're sat and you're struggling just take yourself away and maybe do some meditating do a bit of yoga go for a walk just tell yourself you can do this and then you will i believe that if you believe in yourself and you believe you can achieve something you can so definitely mindset, get your mindset in a good place, do meditating, do yoga. I'm very fortunate throughout my time at university, you know, up until latterly, I never really struggled with kind of believing in myself. I just was like, oh yeah, I'll just enjoy it and do it. And I think sometimes if you have that more of a blasé approach of, well, I'm just doing it because I enjoy it. You know, I'm not putting any pressure on myself. I'm you know, gonna do the best that I possibly can do. And that's all you can do. Don't compare yourself against anybody else. Cause I think a lot of today's society is you you can't help but compare yourself against other people and i've been trying really hard not to do that because that can lead you down you know a dark path so believe in yourself only focus on yourself that is the best piece of advice i can give and that's why i saved it until last believe you can and you will that's something that i kind of live by a lot so yeah number 10 very important just believe in yourself because you can do it so those are the 10 things that i wish i knew before studying a degree hopefully even if it's just one of them that you take away, hopefully it'll be useful for you starting a degree or if you're already doing a degree, I would say these are very important points. So yeah, take take them away and I suppose listen to what I've said because I've finished my degree now and those are the things that I wish people had told me before I did start my degree. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please like, subscribe and comment and I will see you all in the next video.